it's been an amazing experience for me to um, work with such an amazing cast. The, the first time out for me, you know. I mean, this is this is really the first full feature that I've yeah, ever done, and, yeah. and to have this incredible cast, an Oscar winner, you, I think eight Oscar nominations, yeah, like eleven or twelve Emmys, yeah, five yeah. of which belong to Doris <laughs> alone. Um, it's just a, quite an incredible cast. Yeah. Your idea to do this. All right, I play uh, Jack Ernest Borgnine's grandson. He doesn't have a father you? figure really in his life, and uh, Frank Ernest Borgnine is. <laughs> no, you don't really c come close. I yeah. think I think I'm closer with uh, Jeffrey, with Jeffrey, Ernie. And Jeffrey Ernie. thinks he's the father figure. He, he certainly so. acts like he's the father figure. Yeah. Clearly, yeah. Jack, played by Cameron, doesn't feel the same way. No, one no I I feel much closer to. Uh, Frank Ernest Borgnine's character. Oh, thanks. That's very sweet of you to say. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, and um, as the film goes on, Jack gets more and more affected by the impending likeliness of the loss of my grandfather. So, I'll, I'll, I'll do it, okay? Oh, no. No, my boy, no, no. Everyone in the story goes through some transformation uh, the more they acknowledge the, the truth of what's happening with Frank. Stopping the insulin wouldn't... Vicky, it's his idea. You talked about it with him? We all have very different relationships uh, with him. And uh, Jeffrey, who I play, is uh, somewhat estranged as a son and uh, Frank, Ernie's character, and Jeffrey uh, have had some conflict over the years, and um, that's one of the things that uh, my character has to address while still trying to be a dutiful son and a uh, responsible son. Part of the responsibility is to look after Jack as best as, as, as he can <laughs> and, uh, uh, and look after his, sister, his sister's uh, needs, Vicky, played by Sybil Shepherd. But it's a family of very different types and yeah. very different... Uh, personalities and um, very interesting uh, story to, to, to play and um, the, the, the ladies in the movie Doris Roberts and Ann Mira and Piper Laurie, Piper Laurie just showed up uh, and their storyline is uh, taking over the shoot and they're hysterical. When I go to take the pill is there water on the table or what? Now you can bring her back um, to the taxi. Yeah, let's give you some water. Would I have the yes. water with me sure. to take the pill? I play her granddaughter who doesn't want to go away to school because she's afraid um, that if she goes, she won't, she won't get to see her grandmother again. And I think this is something that Jeremy, the writer, went through too, that he had a program in, on, on the West Coast and, and he didn't want to go because he was afraid. He knew that if he went, it would be the last time he, he saw her. My character is a little bit different than than the others. I have dementia. Louis bodies dementia, which is rarely spoken about and really perhaps discovered 10 years ago. You've done a lot of research. I have. I have. I've flown all over the place because I couldn't find patients who had it. Uh, and I googled and I just spent so much time reading and then I found about uh, information about support groups all over the country. And uh, finally, I f somebody called and they said, we hear you want to meet a patient and uh, why don't you come up to Seattle, you know, which was... So, so I did that and I spent the day at this adult home and visiting with a, this nice man who invited me to visit with his, his wife who was, who was there. And it was very generous of, of him to do that. Uh, and I learned a lot. So the uh, thing that makes it different from uh, Alzheimer's is that it has the added thing of hallucinations. Which you see a lot of in the film. She's talking about, there's the dog, or, and she works like in a, um, a textile uh, production line. And it's so real, all of it. It's not like you're living in like a, a, like a fan, it's like, it's, a re it's so real. You know, it's not like fantasy at all, or like a dream. It just feels like you're there in that situation every time. How long you worked this line? Oh, I just started. You better learn. I love your character so much. She just, she, she just is in her own little world. She really is, and she just doesn't care about anything else that's going on. And 
it's fun to kind of step into that place with you. Mm. And then, then I have to go be sad with Doris. But the best part for me are yeah, the, no, the tough old broads, excuse me, <laughs> who are uh, played by Ann Muir and, and um, Doris Roberts. Oh, yeah. Uh, they are so funny. They're so funny in the in their performances, and then also just on the set in between in shots. My tonic, Daddy, have a wonderful scene, sweetheart. <laughs> and I'm going to be applauding you in the wings. Doris, as I see it, is the positive one, and I tend to be a bit of a a grump. You know, glass half empty, she's glass half full. But funny. One hopes. Funny. Oh, we hope. hope. She is funny. Well, you're pretty funny too, kid. <laughs> yes, in your tender moments, I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> See why I never worked with her before? Let's <laughs> <laughs> See what the, Wilson woman has sense enough to get off my table. <laughs> Ernest Borgnine can top them all. Oh my God! He's extraordinary. I'm not. I don't know if we're supposed to reveal his real age. <laughs> I'll let him do that. <laughs> Not quite a hundred, but <laughs> he's going, he's going, he's getting uh, up there. Yeah, he's got more energy than I do. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's the same day. Just, 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 and I'm very happy to say that uh, I had a little part to do in this, and I'm, I'm very happy with it. You had a lot more than a little part to do in this. You're pretty much in every scene, just about. Uh, God bless you. <laughs> How many but, days? I think we shot a total of three days that you weren't in. Yeah, That's it. about that. Today. Yeah. And then uh, last week, one yeah, day, last and, week, think, yeah. and that yeah. other day when you wound up being in there most of the day exactly, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, I'm the only actor that can ever say that I got bed sores. <laughs> 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 but uh, it was worth it, believe me. And a lot of times, believe it or not, when I had nothing else to do, I slept in bed. So how, can, how bad can it be, right? <laughs> Are you ready? Awake. You awake? Yeah, okay, Greg. good. Greg, we've come a long way. Yeah. In short four weeks. Yeah. And I tell you, I'll never forget when you first came to my home uh, in Beverly Hills, and uh, and you, you were you had a lot of trepidation. <laughs> you didn't know whether you're coming or going. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to tell you, it's been a pleasure, just an yeah, immense pleasure, not only working with you, but with this great That's cast it. that we had. And I tell you, it's, it's just been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, these people are supposed to be in a hospital, but you'd never know it. <laughs> <laughs> well, put a picture out with Mr. Ernest Borgnine. Yeah. 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 Just a minute. It's been my sincere and dear pleasure to meet up with some wonderful, wonderful people, and it's been a joy working with you, believe me, every one of you. It's just mm -hmm. wonderful, and I thank you for, I think we're gonna have a hell of a picture. I do I really too. Do. Yeah. 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 Now I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I thought you said you worked tonight. That's a wrap, folks. It's a wrap for us. We'll be up in New York. That's it. We will. Bye, sweet boy. Sweet boy. No, darling. Let go of me. Bye-bye.